hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing well so in this video i'm going to show you the archi mesh add-on which is the inbuilt add-on of uh, blender and uh, how you can use that add-on i'm just going to show you so here we have that uh, add-on archi mesh you can find from the uh, here also and if you will click the shift a so you will find from here also archi mesh and uh, if you want to install that so, so you have to go to the edit preference so you have to just search the r key mesh you will find that here and you just click it and don't forget to say preference okay guys then after that i'm just going to show you how you can use that tool so i'm just going to delete that default cube and i'm enable my shortcut vr so here i am in the create option here you will find that r key mesh so so here is a two section first is the archi mesh and second is the props so first i'm just talking about that uh, our, uh, elements so what is does exactly so first i will click on the room so when i click on the room so we have a one wall here here you can see and uh, that is a baseboard also so we can increase the baseboard size from the here okay guys so for example that is the good size right now and you can increase the length of that wall also like that so i'm going to set three right now like that we can take four also i think three is yeah four is fine okay guys and i'm just going to add one more wall like that and i will put the same value four and i will add one more wall so right now if i will put the same value 4 so it will goes negative okay so if we want to uh, set the same side so we have to uh, set the value on minus so we have a three wall here so now i will uh, increase the little bit that baseboard size also so from here i can increase i think that is fine and after that i will just going to drag it a little bit we can easily see that these options so here is the option is close wall so when i click it so we have a, a four walls now i'm going to add the ceiling and i'm going to add the floor as well so now we have a, a room okay guys so now i'm just going to add the uh, door on it so what i will do for that i will just click the door so we have a one door here so I'm just going to uh, drag it little bit here like that and so guys I'm just going to rotate that door here 180 degree minus 180 degree like that and then after that I will click the wall here room and uh, I will go to the room tools option so here is the auto holes so when I click it so you will find when i open the door you will find the uh, that hole in between that and uh, i'm just going to show you when i'm not click the auto holes what happen so when i uh, when i'm opening that door you will find that wall okay guys so i'm just going to show you that auto hole what is does exactly so it create a hole here now we have a door we can open easily our door we can close okay guys so here you can add the also door roof stair as well okay guys so i'm just going to delete it and i'm going to next option so now i'm going to add uh, one cabinet here so here you can see guys uh, we have a number of uh, we here we can uh, decide how many number of uh, cabinet we need it and uh, if i will decrease in number so here is the option is where you need that uh, cabinet on floor on wall it automatic uh, adjust by from here okay guys and uh, here is the option you need handle or not and uh, here you can uh, decide how many slaves you need it you can add the cabinet like that and i'm just going to delete it also so same thing you will add this stair as well so if i will click this stair so we have a no, two option is here rectangular and rounded so here you can see we have a two type of stair and uh, we can set the how much number of stair we need it 
and uh, for example I said 8 and here is the thickness how much thickness we needed that is the height and that is the uh, front slave and that is the side one so I think sometime it's very helpful uh, we don't want to create any model so we can make from the hair uh, whatever size whatever style we need it so same thing uh, that roof as well okay we can uh, add the that kind of roofs okay here is a, some models of roofs you can define from here and I think that is so helpful okay you can scale from the here how much tile and you can change the uh, number of tiles from left and right also and you can change the roof slope how much uh, you need it like that you can change the thickness as well so I think that is good and uh, after that I'm going to delete that uh, so I'm coming to the prop section so so here is a book section I'm just going to click the book so here we have a books so here we can define how many numbers we needed of books so we can uh, define from here so for example I need 10 book so we have a 10 book and we can randomize the rotation so and sometime it's looking cool like that this is good and we can randomize the color as well yeah so we can randomize the color as well like that and uh, that is the how much it will be uh, rotated so I think that is cool it's looking natural and uh, that is the randomness of XYZ I think we don't need it this so this is looking cool and uh, we can easily create the slab for it like that I'll just create one slab and uh, I'll go to the front view and here I set the all books like that and uh, we have a book slab yes like that so we will add the book again and we will change the affinity value and then after that I can set here like that so how uh, here we can make the book self like that okay guys so now next option is the lamp option so when I uh, click on it we have a lamp here so we have a some uh, kind of lamps so here is a spherical rim pierce and vase pass and rectangular so I like that was it's looking cool and uh, here is uh, some options how much uh, long that lamp holder we need it so that is the roundness of that part as well so we can change as well like that and we can make them our own design yeah it's looking cool and that is the height of that top one that is the uh, radius and that is the inside one and here is also transparency of that uh, light and here we can change the color any color like that okay guys so I think that is cool also I'm going to delete that so now we have a ventilation blind here you can see and uh, we have a setting also here so we can change the angle from here here you can see here we can change the angle and here we can animate as well so if you want to animate that so you can uh, enable the key and just set the key 0 to 100 in between you will get the animation to open and close and that is good and you can change the width height and the gap between of these okay guys so I'm going to delete this as well and here is the option is roller 
curtains so this is also good so here we can set the height this is the height and we can animate as well and this is the width and uh, last thing is that we have a uh, Japanese curtains and this is good sometime so here you can see we can define two panel and uh, two rails and this is the position this is position 2 so we can animate uh, very easily from here and this is good and so for example uh, I create one um, door here so here you can see so when I show it here you can see it's showing the width height or length as well so we can change the color from here whatever color we can see very easily we can set from here and that is the text size we can increase and decrease like that okay guys and we can uh, separate the, these things from the R object as well so that's it for this uh, tutorial guys i hope you learn something in this video so uh, thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel so and if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply your comment bye bye take care stay home